With the new map finally live, we've got a lot of ground to cover here, but we've got you covered. In the description, there's a blog post breaking down everything there is to know about the October map for the Mysterious Island, as well as the September version uh, in the description for this uh, smaller section down here. One of the big questions is where are the flags? How do you get the flags out of this new map? Well, let's uh, let's talk about it. Only It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in this video, we're going to talk about war flags, not just one or the other, just all of them in total. On the first map down here in September, this location right here has got a, uh, a chest with three of the old flags in it. So you start here at this little um, portal and you just jump right in there. You can get one of the first three flags. Now, in this tower right here, this red tower, you see how it's a special color? That is where a warrior flag is going to be the uh, the warrior flag of whatever it is going to be right there the war flag of fervor or whatever it's called and it's only that one thing and uh, a lot of people are asking where are the red towers on this map and where are the flag chests on this map well uh, if you take a look at this new map here you can see that none of the tower locations actually has a war flag chest available to it what it does have though are red and orange chests. You see this orange chest right here. And if you take a close look at all of the lumber piles, every single lumber pile has got a red chest in it, as well as the lumber or the wood or whatever. Now those chests have a chance to contain the the new flags or the old flags, the epic chests. Here we go, let's open these up. Yeah, we didn't get them, that's okay. The orange chests also, the legendary chests, also have a chance to contain flag chests in them. Looks like I didn't get lucky there either. So on the new map, that's going to be how you get the flag chests, the new uh, the new flags, all the, the, the warrior flag and the previous three flags. But that's not all. There is a surefire way to get a flag chest. If you guarantee you want to get one, I got you covered there as well. If you take a look at this post, you can see that weaving patterns is coming back. And weaving patterns, if you don't remember, is a special event that has a battle pass, a season pass with the rewards with it, as well as a bunch of other rewards you can get. For buying the golden ticket, you actually got a war flag chest that contains the war flag of Swift Warriors, the new warrior flag. I would bet you that the new golden ticket will contain a flag chest that has all of the flags in it. So I would imagine that that's going to be the ways to get flags going forward either buy the golden ticket get the war flag chest and if you already have all the flags you'll just take the uh, the 500 free thread you'll also get all of the rewards on the uh, pay to win or the golden ticket side of weaving patterns or you can follow along with the various routes pick up the orange and the red chests and get lucky by getting flag chests out of those that's going to be i'm guessing probably how they do it going forward at this point the flag chests are kind of a waste for most of us aside from the 500 thread they will of course add new uh, flags for every single role that is in the game, mage, healer, tank, etc., I'm sure of it. I'm sure that they will. So be mindful of all of that. And uh, uh, one thing that I do want to point out is it looks like that there's only seven armor penetration patterns on this map, which means you cannot get still, you cannot get a red armor penetration pattern. It's going to have to be next month. Or maybe if we get lucky and get some uh, patterns out of chest, which I think you can still get. Uh, I think you can get the armor penetration pattern out of the red and orange chest as well. I've just never seen it confirmed. So I don't want to say that until I know for certain. But check out my blog post over on HeroWarsCentral.com. I have the October Mysterious Island map with a full breakdown of all the good rewards. Scroll down a little bit. I've got the September Mysterious Island map with a breakdown with all the great rewards as well as the fastest paths to collect the best rewards on both maps. But um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you want more war flag chests just overtly on the map or are you okay with getting them at random? I know it's going to be kind of frustrating if you have to rely on getting them at random, but you know, once you get them, you don't really need them anymore. So pros and cons, I suppose. Hope everybody's having a great day. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.